Hello and welcome back to City Planner Place where we are building the city of Verde Beach. And this is going to be a very quick episode. I want to do one thing that I've been forgetting to do for approximately 15 episodes or so. And that is build out the fishing industry at Fisherman's Bend. However, there is an issue that was pointed out a number of times in the comments for episode 21. So I do want to take care of that right now. And that is there's no way to actually come from uh, the interstate and get onto this highway. So we're going to fix that right now. All right. All fixed. Everyone's happier. So the other thing that I want to do is there was a there's a couple comments made about my path network throughout this whoa <laughs> throughout this area over here some improvements that could be made and one of the things i didn't realize is just how difficult i was making it for this entire neighborhood to walk to the uh to this industry area over here so if they if someone lived right here rather than having a direct path to get over here they have to walk up here and back down and that's not very efficient so what i think we're going to do is Turn off our snap twos and add a path in between these houses and we'll work that down this hill. Oh, much better. So that was a, a huge missed connection and I appreciate that uh, someone in the Discord server gave me that idea. Oh, and I destroyed it. I wanted the path to look like the other ones and I decided to <laughs> take out a house. That was exactly what I was trying to avoid. Well done i uh i uh, took out that house eminent domain by accident <laughs> sorry about that the other thing i wanted to do so this is going to be a little bit of a stretch and i understand that but i want to do it anyway there's no connection between these neighborhoods and i think it's a real missed opportunity because there could be people that want to make that walk so i know firsthand how difficult it is to get a uh any type of pedestrian overpass, there's always going to be detractors who think that it's a waste of money. Uh, but once they're built, they're always well utilized. And part of the reason for this is it opens up an opportunity that, that people didn't have before. So let's give that opportunity right now. Okay, so this isn't going to be well utilized right off the bat, but I do think that over time it's going to be really well utilized. So, kind of just curious. If we speed things up, are we going to get some pedestrians? Okay, we've got one. This lady has a place to go. I, I assume it's a little old lady. Yeah. There she goes. All right. Our first pedestrian across the two multi-million dollar <laughs> pedestrian bridges. Perfect. All built for that one lady. I'm sure she is quite pleased. <laughs> oh, another one. It's a guy. Younger, younger looking fellow. Very good. Well, perhaps not the most well utilized uh, facility right now, but in the future it will be. I'm curious. I forgot to totally eliminate the cost to enter this park that's something i care about as well i don't want people to feel that this is a money-making operation that's what not what parks are for um at least not city parks so and certainly not in uh, a moderate income area <laughs> we're not gonna charge people for the privilege of walking to work and either way we've made all of these kind of back doors in so we don't want to penalize people for coming in off the main drags <laughs> better uh, i'm not going to add any trees to this area or detail it that's not the purpose of today's episode i also want to get a bus route over here also not the purpose of today's episode dealing with this fire not the purpose of today's episode although this guy took care of it <laughs> what we're going to do is if you'll recall way back in the day i created fisherman's bend and the name comes from a place in uh, Oregon that was uh, really badly damaged from some of the fires this past summer. And someone uh, commented on a video that it would be a nice ode to that area. And I never got around to building this. In fact, it might have been over 
15 episodes ago. It might have been episode three or something like that. So it's long overdue, but I don't just want to have a fishing industry over here. We also have some other unique buildings that I think would be a nice addition to this area. One of the things that makes this an uncomfortable uh, uh, thing to place at this point in time is Founders Shores is one of the most expensive places in the city. Um, yeah, I think Olive Hills, Coast Quarters 83, 74, 82. So you can just see as this has developed over time, it is a very desirable place to live. It makes a ton of sense. If you think about it, I think you'd have access to some excellent outdoor recreation activities, great transit access, and the ability to get downtown in relative, uh, relatively you know, little time. Great bike facilities, um, and you could rent out your house for an Airbnb <laughs> if you wanted to. So it's just a, it's a very desirable area. So one of the things I need to keep in mind is I do not want to block this road. This, I still have a plan for this. Someday there will be a bridge right here, but I don't think that the development pressure is high enough just yet. And I have other issues with developing over here that are preventing me from doing so. So we are going to introduce our first keys outside of the Harbor and uh, Hamilton experience as well. So I know that there have been questions about why I haven't used these and I just, you know, I haven't felt that it, there's a, a real pressing need for them with the river. And, and the main reason for that is we have pretty significant uh, cliff on all of these, you know, so you could have a nice, you know, you could put a, a key wall up there and it would look nice, but I think it makes the most sense in an area where you're going to have a lot of docks or something like that. So I think we're going to use it here. First though, I want to level some of this ground. So I'm experiencing something I haven't experienced before and that is, so I'm going to terraform and for some reason I'm getting horrendous frame rates. Or it feels like I'm getting horrendous frame rates. I'm actually getting 42 frames a second. So it's kind of a weird situation. Let me see if there's anything I can do. My computer side, there's nothing. So I don't know what is happening necessarily with this, but if it looks a little slow, that is why. Okay, so we've built this out a little bit. I'm gonna let this, the water do its thing, which is flood it for a while. Hopefully not destroy any of the rest of the city. Now I want to put up some key walls. Hmm, I don't love what this has done over here. This is a height issue. So sometimes with these key walls, you've got to go through and, and make some adjustments to get the result that you're looking for. And apparently today, because of whatever's happening with my grading tools, it's going to just <laughs> kill my machine. Okay, and I like to have those key walls end kind of naturally into some sort of, of level ground. So it's, it's not perfect, but it's pretty darn close. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to do the exact same thing over here. Very good. So one of the benefits of having this key wall here is it should make placing some of my fishing industry a little bit easier. So I don't want to have all generic fishing industry, but that's all I have available to me right now. So it might be all that I could place. So the other thing I want to be aware of is the location of this road that's going to connect out. And I'm a little concerned about how close I'm going to get to this junction or this future junction. Oh, 
Okay, so I needed to start from this uh, this fishing pier because I didn't want it to become a situation where I had a kind of a, a janky angle coming into here. So there are some lumpies and bumpies around here. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do much about them. You can see I'm just shaking around. <laughs> so what I think I can do though is place some nice landscaping and try to cover this up. So this will be our upscale fishing industry. <laughs> okay, so I want to put some routes together and you, know, you kind of look at what we have available. The whole river is for salmon and tuna. I do know that I'm going to want to have a longer route go out for anchovy in the future. So I think I'm going to have a short general purpose fishing route that heads towards the water. Maybe allows me to keep a path open for the future. The one thing I'm noticing is I just don't have a ton of space in this industry area. So this might be the first of a couple of these fishing areas. That's just not very long. We're going to we're going to extend that a little bit further. And this actually could be a tourist attraction if you if you think you could see these fishing boats out your window. So I am going to extend it all the way down to Amarillo Shores. Okay. So now we have this lovely And we're going to kind of just leave it as is for now, but we are going to add some support facilities. So we have a fish market and a fish factory. Uh, we also have a fish farm. You know, we could do that if we really wanted to. Uh, but I think for the time being, we're going to leave that. I do want to get this over here, though. Ooh, oh, shoot. We're going to pause. Check this out. We are dying over here because we are in a rough spot with water so let's check this out yeah we're in the yellow so we need another pump and another uh, we're gonna need another treatment plan so we're gonna go with another uh, advanced advanced treatment plant advanced uh, inland water treatment plant we we're running out of space though so as I'm looking yeah, there's not a lot of great places for this. Mm. I'm going to call a mulligan in this area. I made a mistake. And that mistake was not making plans for my future water network. So we're going to place that here. Use eminent domain on all of those properties. And say that we have more pressing needs than... Uh, some commercial <laughs> so sorry to the business owners in that area but I certainly appreciate your donation to the city of your land <laughs> okay let's see what's uh i'm gonna rezone this get this up to snuff and this is really ugly we're gonna do something more on this in the future uh, but for the time being we just need things to work we're also going to need a water hydrant, or water hydrant, <laughs> a water tower. And I think that this could be an interesting place to put it. In the park, it would be all public land, so no need to stick in the road right away. We do need to connect this up, though. That's a, that's a minor issue <laughs> if we don't. Okay, so let's make sure that we're okay over here in downtown. Bring him back to life. Very good. But this creates for an opportunity. So it might be really nice to have the fish market right in the downtown area. And then I saw how big it is and I decided right against that, right in front of you. <laughs> um, that's it. I do want to keep it somewhat close to the shore and the harbor because I do think it would be a really neat attraction to have in this area. So let's put it next to the mall. 
We'll have to do some significant grading to make this work, but this road wasn't going to come down any further anyway, so I'm okay with it being right here. Interestingly, my tools are working over here, so it's for some reason it was just that individual area that I was having issues with. It's bizarre. I do not understand why I was having all those problems over there. Okay, so lots of little nitpicky work over here, but I really want this to look good. And, uh, you know, part of that is having the grading correct. If it's not right, it just, it, it takes the whole thing down in my, uh, down a notch in terms of the aesthetics in my mind. And I care about that. So <laughs> we're going to, we're going to think about it. So I've done a lot here. I wanted to make sure that we avoid any dark places. For the most part, we've done that. That's where the relief is really stark. And you see that when you get these contour lines bunched like that, you end up with these dark areas. So I like to spread out the grating and then feather it, if at all possible. The, the bonus is I just use these normal pavement paths over here. So the pavement paths do not level themselves. So you're kind of required to go and do the grading if you want it to look nice and I do so kind of the situation I'm stuck with I am going to overextend these a ways and then eliminate the portions that I don't need just think it makes it a little bit easier to, to actually do the work now that we have this fish market here I'd like to put a couple of palm trees We're not getting one right here. Even though I desperately want one, I'm gonna just not look at it because it kind of triggers me a little bit. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna continue over here. So now that I think about this, I think I probably put double the number of palm trees in this area. So it's gonna be a very festive market. And uh, maybe I shouldn't have gone quite so crazy, but you might as well double down. That's the way I see it anyway. So I'll sneak these in between the building and the road where I can. Looks like that's it. That's okay. That's near the booths. I think it looks nice. So let's see if this is working. Already sold 60 fish. Tourists love it. Wonderful. Very good. So I think with that, I want to move on to the fish factory. So this is a kind of a food service sort of building. We have a slaughterhouse over here. Would seem that this would fit in well. Ooh, there's some grating stuff going on here that is grating on my nerves. So let's see if we can fix that too. And this is going to be much more complicated than I had anticipated. So, there are other solutions. Maybe they're not perfect. But they'll work. Add a road right here. And now we only have this weird little spot right here. Which we can add some trees to to make look nicer. But now we have a spot for our fish factory. It fits in so well. It's perfect. Very nice. So because we don't have very much uh, in terms of fishing industry, this is going to suffer for the time being. But I think it looks okay. One of the things I've been thinking is this, this district could really use uh, some finishing. So while I'm over here, I am going to fill this in, but I don't want to fill it in with just any generic industry. So what I'm going to do is come through here and make another industry district and focus on focus it on agricultural products. So 
So we'll just have that fill in with some agricultural uses. Now, oh, one thing I want to do, I do not want these buildings to develop along the side of this collector, if at all possible. So I think that what I'm going to do is put a fence up there. So I'd either want commercial to mirror this side, or I want it to feel totally separate. So before this all develops out, which it will very quickly, I am going to have some sort of fence here. Okay, very good. That is more along the lines of what I was hoping for this area. And now it's going to develop. When you take a look at where the zoning is, it's right along this road. We don't have anything here, but that's okay. I am okay with blank places. What we can do is, is certainly add some... Uh, we could certainly add some trees or something along those lines. Just thinking about it. it might be... No, no, get kidding. That's why you don't get overly ambitious. I could have fenced in this area around this ranch as well, but I need to reconfigure this if I'm going to do that, and it's just not the right time. So, we'll leave this as is. So let's take a look at our commercial, or at our, at our fish industry over here. One freight truck in use. So one of the things to, to keep in mind with the fishing industry is that it's actually not part of the industry's DLC. It was part of Sunset Harbor. So I think that while it could benefit potentially from some warehouses, I don't know how necessary it is to add that to this particular industry. Either way, the things that I have available to me right now are just really large and don't fit into this area. So I think I'm going to probably hold off on doing anything with that. I do want to see if I have any other fishing buildings available to me right now. And uh, it looks like we need a significant amount more of fish caught to actually be able to, to, to switch and diversify our fishing industry. So I think for the time being, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'll place one more of these general purpose fishing industry uh, docks and in the future we might upgrade that or we'll have another location in the city that has some other uh, fishing opportunities. Now one of the things that this opens up is potentially having some commercial along here. So I'm going to add a bit of commercial and then a landscape behind it. So this will bring all of these up to the height of that industry area or the, of the rather this road and for the industry area I can do something a little bit different. So I really hate what happened here with the road. Might try to grade it out a little bit. But anytime you introduce a key wall you're gonna struggle. <laughs> so looks like this is my future here unfortunately. Lumpies and bumpies for days if anything, it got worse. <laughs> so, yeah, that is terrible. I hate that so much. And with everything I do, it gets a little bit worse. There is one more solution. It's the most invasive solution. And that is slide this down just a little ways. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I've destroyed this. Okay, so I think this is the result of all that development occurring. So I will stop the development and get this thing back to where I wanted it to be. No. <laughs> Delete it and try again. Okay. <laughs> it's a little, little, uh, little stressful there. I didn't like that. So now I'm going to try to use this road guideline as maybe the way that I can get up. Okay, so that was probably totally unnecessary, but I feel good about it. So, you know, sometimes that's what uh, matters, making yourself feel good about your decisions. We can go again. All right, so I'm going to finish out with some lands. Well, actually, I'm going to finish out by creating some fishing routes, and then I'm going to do a bit of landscaping. Of 
And I will keep that route a little bit shorter, closer to shore over here. It'll be interesting for everyone. Man, they're they're coming up some rapids. <laughs> so that uh, keeps things interesting for those fishermen. So let's finish up our landscaping, and I think we're going to end the episode after that. And the rear of these buildings is pretty ugly, but I think we can jazz it up a little bit. All right. So I think that this looks a lot better. At least it blends in a little bit to this area. The other thing I was thinking about doing was putting a museum in this area, but I've kind of come around to the idea that maybe this should just be a fishing industry area. The last thing we need to do is uh, we have our road naming off, so let's, with the magic of YouTube, fix that. All right, Miller Street doesn't seem to make a ton of sense in this particular area. So I know that we keep taking away Miller Street. We're going to take it away again. And we're, this is going to be Fisherman Bend Road. So we'll make it Fisherman's Bend Way. Yeah, I like that a lot. I think that this is a nice little fishing industry. Not a lot to it. But I don't think it looks totally out of place in this area. And that's one of the things I was really going for. So uh, I hope that you liked this build. I know it's a quick one in comparison to some of my other ones. Uh, if you like this video, please consider hitting the like button. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. And hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I release new videos. Uh, I really want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. They make all this content uh, possible along with everyone else out there. But uh, a big shout out to them. Their support means the world to me. Uh, you can see their names right here, and I am going to leave you with a brief city tour. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.